what questions do you have about the 49ers team roster, whatever that you think will be answered Friday night when they play the Packers? Man, I, I don't know if we're going to fully get these answers, but a couple things that I'll be looking for is who's that third receiver? Like is, is Ray Ray really making a push and is Jennings letting the ball slip through his hands quite literally and losing that position that we thought he was a lock for also the running back position. How does that play out? That's going to be a big, big key. Sounds like Elijah Mitchell is going to be the number one guy, but at least one of these guys is going to get cut possibly two. And if that's the case, who are those players going to be? In fact, it's going to be two and they have six guys right now that legit should or could make this roster and could make a lot of rosters guys that may and probably won't slip through and make it to the practice squad. So who are they willing to lose? Is it a Wilson because he's older and on a one-year deal? Is it a hasty because really he's a third down guy and maybe they go use check? Is it Sermon because he's not developing the way that they hope? Is it Mason because he's the undrafted guy? Those are questions that I'm looking to be answered. We're not going to get the answers 100%, but we're certainly going to see a little bit of a glimpse into who these guys really are. And running backs, I think, are the players that you really, really, really benefit from the most of having pads and playing a real game and seeing what they really are. Because these practices, you're not really going to get to see that a lot. The games is where you're going to see who the real running backs are. Yeah, it feels like the moment of truth. I mean, when you watch practices, you get glimpses of things here and there, but you don't really know. And you'll see yep. you know, who, who breaks tackles, who's fast, who... Uh, who shies away from contact, uh, who can get the edge, um, all those things. Who plays fast? Who's who's courageous? I want to see that. But also, moment of truth for the offensive line. Mm. You know, they're not going to be game planning, but one-on-one's a one-on-one. A reach block's a reach block. Uh, I don't even expect Trent Williams to play, but what does Aaron Banks look like? Have we even seen him in a, in a – we've seen him in one preseason game ever. What does Aaron Banks look like? What does Brenda look like? What does Brunskill look like? What does Burford look like in a real game? Those are all questions I have because I think Niner fans should be really concerned about left guard and center. I think the Niners should be really concerned about that. Right guard right now seems promising. If Trent Williams is not going to play, and I assume that he's not, I also would prefer that Lance didn't play. (laughs) That's just me. Uh, You know what I mean? It's already going to be shaky up the middle. Uh, I personally don't want to see it, but he also has to get his reps. Okay. So it's kind of how many like, design quarterback runs is Kyle going to call for Trey Lance in the preseason? He Hopefully didn't do that last year, did he? None, right? Uh, no, I don't. I don't remember. I don't. Uh, no, I don't think so. I can't remember actually. I don't know. Did he? Did he keep it and run in preseason? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I Offensive feel like line. they didn't. Yeah, offensive line. Also, nickel corner. And not only nickel corner, but corner depth, right? They don't have Mosley. They don't have Ward. So now we're really going to get a full competition of the rest of the guys because they have four or five guys that really could be the extra guys that make this team. Let's assume that Verrett's ready for week one. He's a lock, but he's also not playing in any of these games. So these other guys that are playing, who gets cut? Who doesn't make it? Are they willing to cut an Ambry Thomas if he's not good enough? I mean, you spent a third round pick on him last year. I'm curious to see what moves they make in that secondary. And then also, Frank, we got to bring up Trey Lance. I mean, let's be honest. When this game is over, we're going to spend most of our time in the instant reactions talking about how Lance looks. So that's, and I don't know that we're going to get a lot of questions answered, but does he look ready? Does he look confident? How does he look compared to last year? Because ultimately, these training camp practices, no one cares when they start doing the preseason games. I'm curious, like, how does he look? Does he look just like? Because last year in preseason, what we saw was throwing too hard on the on the on the short stuff. Him being responsible for some of those drops, but then also him getting into a groove, having some really nice passes in LA, and then getting hurt. So, uh, what does he look like compared to last year in games? I want to see that. Yeah, I mean, does he look? One thing that I've said about Trey is it's organized chaos. That's what I felt like we were Mm -hmm. watching a lot with him. Mm -hmm. Does he look more calm, cool, and collected in the pocket? Like that he belongs there and he knows what he's looking at. And the game has quote unquote slowed down for him. I'm curious to see that. Because Kyle is all about, uh, he was telling us that you can really develop a quarterback on the bench. 
and I'm always I'm sure there are certain certain things you can teach a quarterback when he's not playing, but I always feel like it's better to play. So okay, okay. dude's been here. All right. He, he learned your system. It's a tough system to learn, right? Year two. Let's let us let's see it, man. Show us him executing. Cause it's hard yeah. to see him execute in practice when the offensive line's getting beat and the wide receivers aren't getting open. Like, how do you really execute? What do you do? Throw to cover receivers, throw picks. You don't, you scramble, you buy time. So let's see. Can you actually can this offense execute pass plays on time this year? I'd like to see it. They can sometimes. The play action bootleg stuff, get them out of the pocket, but quick throws, quick game. Can they do that? Obviously. You you touched on something real briefly there. Did they make the right decision by sitting Lance last year? Right? How I much growth no. does he have to make? We I'd don't like know. to know. Sean says, I'm older. I watched Terrell Owens transform from quiet professional playmaker to Debo. I'm seeing signs in Debo. Is Debo, is Debo the Debo in our future? We, I don't, we'll see. I hope but I know what you're talking about. And <laughs> Terrell Owens, the difference was Jerry Rice left. When Jerry Rice was here, this was Jerry's team. And T.O. was the number two receiver. And you have to respect Jerry. Then Jerry left and T.O. became the number one receiver. And, I mean, he's in the Hall of Fame. But I felt that he was, like, the worst teammate of all time. I, every game, he'd have 13 targets. He'd be like, I didn't get the ball enough. Jeff Garcia is bum. The offensive coordinator is a bum. <laughs> it's like, wow. And no one ever does stuff like that in the NFL anymore. Um, he used to do it all the time. I thought it was messed up and then he Antonio got Antonio Brown made a run at it he tried to be he like did. that <laughs> for a Hall of Fame wide receiver a whole bunch of teams got rid of him during his prime mm. well, one thing I'll say though too is that one thing that we didn't question though about Terrell Owens was his work ethic that was never in question ever. that's a good point and he would always make this like oh like you're questioning me why don't you come check me out look at these sit-ups check out my six-pack like <laughs> in a driveway here, like, Debo's over here like the, like the the dude wearing the t-shirt in the shallow wind. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's not the same look. That's all I'm saying. Debo I, was, I remember. T.O. was the original DK. Yeah. The I, I remember I remember T.O. catch two crying, right? After multiple drops in the game. Very I humble kid. Remember. He was he not that to, guy. He went up to Mariucci. After, I was a huge Niner fan back then. And he went up to Mooch after the game and was crying and thanking him for believing in him and going back to him because he had dropped a few passes earlier. Yep. Three years later, he'd flip out if he only got 13 targets. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. Great player, though. And I maintain yeah. he was better than Moss because Moss was straight. They would call a pattern where Moss would have to run over the middle. He would just run some other route, and he'd be like, no, no. no. He ran, like, two routes. Really saying good that. Those, but I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Owens was tough. Three more, and then we'll move. Hold on. Can two running backs be traded for two O-linemen? Realistic. No. Running backs are a dime a dozen, and offensive linemen are very hard to come by. Sorry. Steven says, what kind of numbers would Ayuk need to put up to compel Niners to sign another huge contract? I think that's going to be a story for next offseason. Wide receiver market has gone wild. Doesn't seem hopeful. Yeah, but if the Niners are over here throwing 20 passes a game, Ayuk just won't get enough targets to get Debo money, and he's not going to play running back. So that's one way they can sort of suppress Ayuk's value is – Run, run 40 times a game. They might. Well, also two things are, are at play here. One, he was drafted in the first round, unlike Debo. So he has a fifth year option that they get to take advantage of. True. And Debo's on a three-year deal. When he's in the last year of that deal, that'll be Ayuk's first year of his deal. So they can make it work. Also, as, as we've seen, Ayuk's not going to get re-signed next year. Just like Bose isn't getting extended this year. Ayuk's extension, if it happens, will be two years from now. Right? For sure. Mark says yes. surprise final cut other than Jimmy. Hyder? Hmm. It's a good one. It's a good one. Jeff Wilson? Sermon. I think Jeff Wilson is good and is going to make this team. I think he looks like 2020 Jeff Wilson to me. But we'll, again, we shall we'll see that in the preseason. You think there's any shot they cut Ambry Thomas? Because oh. that would be a surprise. He would be, yeah, Mark. Yeah, he's in the running for Zakel, but I mean Zakel, Zakel wouldn't be surprised a sixth round. Yeah. Yeah. John's George says, has Sudfield or Purdy played with the ones? No. 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 Double B Studio says, I'm sipping coffee out of my quality control. Hey, nice. And yes, coffee because it's raining here in Sedona. I hear Sedona's really nice. My mom went there, said it was gorgeous. 
gnarly thunderstorms in Arizona. Just like here in Tampa, actually. <laughs>